All right, quiet down, girls. Yeah, that's Buster's girlfriends in the back there. Hey, you did it. Yeah, we did it. We hit a thousand subscribers. Thanks to you, I made it to a thousand subscribers. Yes, I couldn't have done it without your help. Yes, I know it's a big happy time here at Brad's Boredom Busters. I'm your big kahuna, Brad. We have hit 1,000 subscribers. So thank you all very much for sticking with me. I love all my subscribers and I thank you all very much. And so as promised, I am going to be doing a giveaway. So we're going to be making a shirt today. And when I'm done with that shirt, I want you to leave comments and give me thumbs up on that. For everyone that leaves me a comment and a like, I will take those names, put them in my hat, and we'll draw them out on our next video. And we'll find out who wins either a tie-dye t-shirt, or a bleach shirt, or a tapestry. It'll be viewer's choice. So, today's video is going to be a tie-dye shirt. It's one that I've been working on perfecting for a little while. It's going to be a dragonfly on the front of the shirt. This one is kind of a fun one to do. It's a little tricky. There's some very specific measurements that you're going to need for it. So let me go over what you're going to need for this project. So you need a 100% cotton t-shirt pre-washed and then soaked in soda ash water for a minimum of 20 minutes. Then you take that out, put it back in your washer and spin out all the excess moisture so it's just slightly damp and ready to be folded up. I've done that already to my shirt. It's on the table waiting. So the other things we're going to need for this project is sinew to tie up with and rubber bands also uh, to scrunch up or to do whatever additional fabric is left over because I think I'm going to put a little bit of a spine or something on the back of it. So there's not going to be a lot of excess fabric to deal with, but rubber bands or kite string to tie that up with. And then you're going to need a protractor because I use that to help lay out the angles on the wings. And I think that'll about cover it. So we can head over to the work table and start folding this up. All right, my buster buddies. So here we are at the work table. Like I say my shirt's all prepped. It's, it's been pre-washed, soaked in soda ash, spun out so it's just slightly damp, ready to be folded. So for this pattern, we're going to center the shirt. So let's center the collar and then we'll center the bottom hem. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned in the materials also, you'll need a washable marker for this. All right, so now we've got to marked our centers on the collar and on the bottom hem. We will fold it in half along these marks, but before we do that, we want to kind of establish the size of our dragonfly. Because the dragonfly body actually is a little shorter, if not the same as the wingspan, so you want to measure. So basically, we want to measure across from kind of armpit seam to armpit seam. Uh, just to make it simple, let's call it 20 inches. So really, we want the length of the dragonfly body to be, I'd say 15 inches. So we're going to be, and actually, we're doing 20, actually let's make it 14 inches. Let's get a mark up here and a mark here. Either side of a center there. There we go. Okay. So that'll give us that length. And then we can establish the width of the wings once we have it in half. Alright, so let's... 
All right, let's grab your bottom sleeve and pull it up to the top. And then line up your, the, uh, the seams on the sleeve, which is runs under. The measurements I'm giving you is for this shirt, which is a large. So your shirt may vary if it's a smaller or larger shirt than this one. But basically your dimensions are all determined by the width, basically across the chest to the seams on the arms. All right, so the dragonfly body is very narrow. It's got somewhat of a bulbous head, but then gets rather thin, a little bit of a bulk here in the, in the upper part of the body, but then the tail's very long and thin. So it shapes sort of like... And that's your dragonfly body. Okay, so now we are going to do the wings. And now the wings go up a little bit higher than you might think. So when I say my body is about that, I want to go just slightly above center there. And now this is where you're going to use your protractor. So you can set it on that mark and along the edge. And we're going to mark a line at 60 degrees. And another one at 120. All right, so then we want to take a ruler So we, don't, we want to try and get all the wrinkles out from underneath there. So we are going to draw a line most of the way to the sleeve. Try and get it to where there's not much bulk underneath there. There we go. Okay, so I think, I think if we do about seven inches, so come up from the body about a half an inch, make a mark, and then that's seven inches for me. So basically half inch away from the body, and then as long as you can make the upper wing, because the top, the top wing on the body is the longer of the two on a dragonfly. So go up as far as you can without getting into too much of this bulk. And then that's a seven inch, oh, and almost forgot. So we made our seven inch mark, but we want to draw a straight line on our, on our 60 degrees. So that'll go to there and to there. Then you draw half of the wing. And the wing doesn't have to be terribly fat. Okay. And then on the other wing, so we were seven inches on that one, we can be about an inch shorter, yes. So 
This side, we were a half an inch away from the body and then seven inches. So on this wing, we will be a half an inch away from the body and six inches long. And then we will draw another half of the wing. Okay, that's our dragonfly. All right, and so now we can tie up the body first, and then I'll show you how to tie up the wings. Take your sinew, get yourself a slip knot in it to have it ready for when you have the body tied. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm looking at this. I say this is always a problem. I made the body, looks a little too long to me. So I think I'm going to go just to 12 inches on this. Like I say, this is something that you're going to have to determine for yourself depending on what size shirt. And once you draw it out like this before you fold it, look at it. If it looks out of proportion, then correct it. As I am doing. There's no problem with that. Okay, now we can start folding. And like always, when you're tying up a pattern, you want the line to be as straight as possible and not puckered up like that. Come on. <laughs> always happens when I'm on camera. Squish it a little bit and that holds it in place until you get the sinew on it. All right, now for the wings. Now, if you haven't ever seen this, this is kind of a slick little trick if you ever have, you know, any kind of part that you're trying to fold up that's symmetrical, then doing it this way. So I drew a center line here, and so I'm gonna fold the T-shirt right on that center line Take that, fold that in half right on that line. Get the wrinkles out from under it. Okay, there you go. All right, so we're folded in half. So now accordion fold along that line. And just repeat for the second wing.
Okay, so that's the body and the wings of our dragonfly. And that's all there is to tie up of that. So, we've got a fairly large shirt. We have a whole back canvas that we can do something with. So let's do that. We'll create a spine on the back. Maybe make a rainbow spine. Because uh, I think I'm going to dye the wings rainbow colors as well. So we will make a rainbow spine as well. How about that? Okay, Buster, so that's the end of the tie-up. So now we can just scrunch up the rest of the shirt. Okay, there you go, buddies. So here's our two wings, there's the body. All right, so that's our spine and our dragonfly ready for dye. So I'm gonna be doing that here at the table, so let me get set up for that and we'll get right into that. All set up to dye our dragonfly shirt. And so let me run over the colors that we're going to be using on this because I'm going to, I think, do a rainbow pattern on the wings. And then the body is going to be a combination of uh, robin's egg blue and lime pop. Um, so for my rainbow colors, I'll be using bright yellow, um, probably on the back here. Uh, orange sorbet, Chinese red, probably the electric blue and lavender. Uh, on the wings, I'll definitely be using just bright yellow, Chinese red, and electric blue. Like I said, the body will be robin's egg blue and lime pop. And then here in the scrunch, um, oh, well, the rest of the spine will be new black and probably the robin's egg blue, lime pop, um, maybe orange sorbet, end with black again. We'll do deep purple around the dragonfly and maybe here at the base of the spine. And then we'll run into probably the... Uh, electric blue uh, and then probably bright yellow through the center of it all. All right, well, enjoy the music and you can watch along.
Okay, Busters, that's it, baby. That looks great. I think this is going to be beautiful when it comes out. I love the rainbow wings. I think this rainbow is going to come out nice. I think we got pretty good saturation on my nodes over here. So, anyway, it's going to go in my curing tub now for 24 hours. And then after that, I'll take it out. We take it to the laundry sink and rinse it out. Start with cold water to flush out the excess soda ash and then turn it up to hot to flush out the excess dye that hasn't bonded with the shirt. And then after that, it'll go in the laundry with, with detergent and Curalon, which is a textile detergent that I get from Dharma Trading Company. It'll be washed on hot to get out any other dye that hasn't been rinsed out and then we'll dry it and bring it back here for a reveal. So we'll see you then for the reveal. Okay, Buster Buddy, so here is our dragonfly. Yep, the rainbow winged dragonfly. It is awesome. Came out really nice. I'm very happy with this. See, the proportions are really good. Yep, you, want, you don't want the body too long because the wings can only be so big. So yeah, this came out just right. This is what you want yours to look like. Hey, if you like this one, give me a thumbs up on it. You bet, this came out great. And the back came out okay. Um, you know, those really big nodes. I get really nervous about putting too much dye on them. So I, I don't want them bleeding into the other colors. Now the center is easy because that's at the very you know end and you can saturate that. It's those other ones in the middle. I could have put a little bit more dye on, a little slower, and it might have penetrated a little bit more. But all in all, it's nice. I'm not disappointed with it. Yep. No, I think this is a great success. Hey, I hope you learned something new on this project. Give this one a try. Anyway, let's meet back over at my desk because I want to I want to talk to you about the rules for the giveaway because this video is our giveaway video. All right, Busters. Hey, I hope you like that project. Yep, came out really nice. It's very pretty. I mean, I like the colors and all, especially with the rainbow wings. All right, so let's get into our giveaway rules. All right, so it is now May 10th, Wednesday. That's when this video is released. And so you have from today, you have until noon Pacific time, May 14th, that will be Sunday, to get a comment and a like, thumbs up on for this video. And that's how you qualify for the giveaway. Yes, you have to leave a comment and give me a thumbs up for this video to qualify for our giveaway. And then after noon Sunday, I will go over all the names that have left comments and likes. I will take all those names, put them into a hat, and then draw out one. And I will video that as a short and announce the winner. So keep your eyes open for my next short because that will announce the winner of this giveaway. And then you can contact me. My email is in the description below and we will discuss what you want. Either a tie-dye shirt, a bleach painted shirt, or a tapestry. So good luck to all and thank you all very much for subscribing and getting me to this point. And our next big goal, I think will be 2,000 subscribers. So please share my channel around and help me get to 2,000 subscribers. All right, hey. I hope you like this video. Yep, yep, don't forget to comment, like it, and share it around. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please do so. And then you can comment and like this video and then be a winner if you're a subscriber. And if you really wanna help support my channel, please go to my Buy Me A Coffee page and buy me a coffee. That really helps support this channel so I can continue making content like this. All right, love you all, Busters. Peace out, baby, and go bust out some art.